Well, now that we're here, that we've kind of built out everything around this rear fender, I think I can see a path forward. And instead of actually extruding this edge out and down, I think what I need to do is duplicate this edge, bring it down around the tire well, get it in shape first, and then connect it up with the top of the fender. Now, one thing I should probably take a look at, let me uh, press Alt and click this edge to select it, and I'm gonna turn off the subdivision surface view here in the 3D view. One thing I need to keep in mind is that this here is actually this up here, right? So these points here, I think, need to go up a little bit more. Let me press Control alt q so I can see them all, so I can select them a little easier. And let me zoom in here. Let me move this over to this area right here. I'll bring this up. Just some rearranging of the windows here. And maybe I should begin bringing these up a little bit more. I'm not sure. So, because it looks like this area should really be out, right, almost out to here, right? Let's take a look. Let me uh, hit G and move this out. So I think I'm going to, well, maybe I can move it out to here. Let's take a look at this one. This one shouldn't be up really any higher than this. But ultimately, we're going to have to extrude this up, I think. So maybe I don't need it out so far right now. But for this one, it, it really should be clear out to here, I think. So let's go ahead and put that there. Let's take a look at this. Control Alt Q, Alt Z, and let's take a look at it. All right, I'm going to turn on the subdivisions again here. Yeah, I think that's uh, what we need for that. So let's go with that. So I've, I've just pulled those out. Now, what let's do is let's go to the side view here. Let me select this edge, Alt click this edge here, and I just want to duplicate it and move it down to the tire well. So first of all, I'm going to change from active element to median point, and then I'll press Shift D, Enter. Let's scale this in a bit, and there we go. Now we've got something that we can work with here. These points, I'm looking at these right here, these two, can go right there for now. And then we need to kind of build or move these to fit around this tire well here. Let's do that. I'm just selecting each one of them, hitting G and moving them to match the shape here of the tire well. And it looks like we're going to have to move these up quite a bit. So I'm going to just move these in quite a bit like this because we're going to need more room. All right, so I've got them pretty much in place, I think. We may still need to move things around a bit, but I'll change back to my Move tool over here on the left. I'll press Alt-Click. I'm probably going to have to move this out a bit. Let's go to that top view with the 7 key. Let's move this out like this, and I think I'll flatten it. I'll press S, X, and 0 and flatten that up, and then let's bring it back and maybe... Hit the R key and turn this a bit like this. So it may not need to be this flat, but I went ahead and flattened it just to begin that. Let's uh, maybe move it out. I'm going to move it out a little bit farther than the drawing here. Let's turn it a bit. Okay, so we have that now. What we can do is then go ahead and select this this, this, and this, these four points right down here. Hit the F key. And it looks like we may be flipped again. Let me see. Let me select these two right here and hit the F key. Well, there's really only one way to find out. Let's go up to our viewport overlays and click on face orientation. And no, they're correct. They're blue, so I think that's fine. All right, let's hit the F key again, and let's go ahead and go on around and see how they look. Not bad. 
Yeah, I think actually that's pretty good. Let's go on around. I'll hit F, F, and F. So let's work with that. And then, so what we need to do now is insert an edge loop and kind of pull it out. So what let's do before we begin is let's hide some of this. I will uh, change from tweak to select box here and click and drag all of this. And then I'm just going to hit the H key. Or you can come up and go to Mesh, Show Hide, and Hide Selected here. So I'll hit the H key to hide that. Now if we go to the back view with Control-1, we can see it a little bit better. Right, we can see that here. Okay, so let's now press Control-R. I'm going to hit the Enter key two times. Go to the back view with Control-1. And all right, so... I think what I'd like to do is, well, we do want to pull it out a little bit. Let me go ahead and do that. I'll turn on the Move tool and pull out just a little bit in the X. And then I'd also like to select this and select it again to make that our active element. And let's go to Active Element here. And then let's go to Control-Alt-Q, go to the top view. And I think I'd like to rotate that out just a bit. Let's try this. I've still got the back view up here, and I'll hit R and just pull it out a little bit. Let's try this. Pull it out a bit like that. Let's uh, scale it in the Y, S, Y. Can I scale it out like that? Let's try this. Bring it back a little bit. Uh, let's see, maybe we should pull it out just a little bit like this. All right, let's see how we're doing. Control-Alt-Q, tumble around. Now we've probably got some point adjusting we could do here since we scaled that back. But let's turn on subdivisions. Let's bring back the rest of the car with mesh, show hide, reveal hidden. There we go. And let's tab into object mode and see how we're doing. So I think that's actually pretty good. We're getting there. That's the kind of thing we need. Now, there's some point pulling we need to do here, but generally speaking, I think that's the kind of thing we want. So let me uh, grab this, and I'm going to pull out a bit. And I'm also going to go up some. Let's select this for the active element. Press S and Z and scale up a bit so we get a little bit more of a curve there like that. We could also select this point back here as the active element and scale in the Y just a little bit. I'm going to deselect this one here and then press SY and move forward a bit so we get a little bit more of a curve like that. Right? All right, let's see how we're doing. Pretty good. I think this could come out a bit. Let me just bring that out just a little bit like this. This could still come out a little bit more. So as I said, there's work to do, but I think this is the kind of thing we want. Yeah, actually, look at that. I'll be darn. <laughs> so we found a way. That's good. I will also take a look at this up at the top. Let's go to the top view. And right in here, we need to create this piece. It kind of comes up right here. So let's, uh, let me grab the top of this here so we can see it. And it looks like we need to bring this up again. Now that we've added that edge, it's pulled it down a bit. So we could grab this and take it up toward where the drawing is. Select this and bring it forward, SY. Hold the uh, shift key to make it go a little slower. There we go. So now I think in the next video, let's work on this piece right here, that little uh, part where it kind of turns up right here. You can see that right back here. I'll press Control. Space bar. You can see that right back here how it turns up. Let's work on that in the next video, and then we'll plan our next steps going forward.